Hello, my name's Stephen Knight. This is a Trainerscope presentation. The topic of this presentation is doing basic formulas in a life cycle form. This is a topic that's come up a little bit recently. I've had some people ask about it. So let's have a look at what's involved. It's actually not too hard. If you can do calculations in Excel, you'll handle this without too much trouble. So what we need to do first up is just set up our, our document so that we can actually see the things we need to see. So I'm heading up to the window menu and in the window menu we need to open three things. So I'm going to open the hierarchy panel which is window hierarchy. I'm going to open, open the ob object pa panel which is window object and I'm just going to adjust the proportions there a little bit, just share out the space on the screen. And then I'm going to go to the window menu again and open the script editor. So they're the three things that, that I need. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit in my form and then we're ready to go. Okay, so step number one is in the hierarchy I'm going to select my subform. Now step number two is in the script editor I'm going to choose the calculate event. So this is the calculate event which when a field mentioned in a formula changes the calculate event will occur and it'll recalculate for us. So I'm going to choose calculate there and I'm able to click, you'll notice, in the script editor area. Now, I need to select the fields involved in the formula. So my first step here is holding down the control key. I'm going to click on the line total. And you'll notice it puts in the name of the field. Now, I'll show you where that actually comes from when we've built our first formula. Now, that subtotal or line total is equal to and again holding down the control key my quantity multiplied by holding down the control key again the price so that's my formula there uh, total equals quantity multiplied by price now just over here in the object panel if I click the binding area here and select the appropriate field you'll notice that's called price one that one there is called quantity one. If I go over to line total, this one's a little bit different. I've called this total one, as you can see here. You'll notice if I go to the value tab, it's uh, calculated read only. Okay. So similarly, I've made my line total here calculated read only, and my grand total is also calculated read only. So, let's do some more formulas here. So I need to go back to my subtotal. Clicking at the end of the previous formula, I'm just going to press enter to wrap that around. So, holding down the control key, picking the second subtotal, that's going to be equal to, holding down the control key, my quantity, multiplied by, you can see the multiplies, of course, the asterisk, holding down the control key and choosing price. So now I've got two subtotals. So I'm going to hold down the control key, select my grand total. The grand total is equal to one of the subtotals, again, holding down the control key, plus the other subtotal. Now, I will just save my work at this point. You'll notice the asterisk up here next to calculate. That's just saying, look, um, there are some formulas, some things happening here in the calculate area. Now, we need to preview this to see how this is going to work. Uh, this may actually take a moment. Uh, so I'm going to click preview PDF. It goes away and renders the PDF. Now, when I start to do some filling in on the form, we're going to get a message here uh, because 
we haven't enabled at this stage, we haven't enabled the Acrobat reader extensions. We'll cover that in a separate area. The Acrobat reader extensions allow you to save your form when you're working in Acrobat reader so that if you get halfway through a long form, you can save it, come back to it later and finish it off. So clicking in quantity, there's the message. Uh, so yep, we know that, we're comfortable with that. So I'm going to order 10 of something at $100 each. And you'll notice we've got a line total there of $1,000. Going to my second line here, I'm going to order 20. And they'll be at $1,000 each, whatever they are. And you'll notice that it's been triggering the calculate event as we've been changing these values and we can see that we've got our grand totals calculated. You'll also notice I've been a bit slack. In the grand total, I'm not showing this formatted as currency. That's something we'll fix that in the next lesson. So that's the end of this little tutorial, creating basic formulas using Lifecycle Designer. And thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. Uh, Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, at train a scope.